But I think when you have like uh, a fairly okay pan out like that, it's actually kind of an interesting deck to play against. Because uh, it's just like a different Warlock deck that just like plays throughout a lot. So Creeper is not that good against Mage because they don't like kill a lot of your stuff really. It's still like a good card, but you have to have like the hand for it. And I don't think we have a hand for it. Uh, Evolve's really good, but I don't know if it's really what I want to keep either. I might just do it, because it's good, but, like, I'm on play, right? So he plays one counter spell and I lose. Flush Shaper's good. Burst's very bad. Probably the worst round the deck is Burst. So I could just play Burst here. I probably just, like, want to hold this. It feels like it's more of a mid-game card. Like, turn three or four. Because it's just, like, a one-mana intervate for this. No, Mutate's good, so he's got him. Spell power. Boom. Plays Arcano Girl. Ancient Mysteries. Okay. Uh, Thunderhead's really fucking good. This is probably the card that wins you this matchup if you're gonna win it. Broken card, dude. It's crazy how they can buff a card by one health and make it so fucking strong, but that's exactly what they do with this. So I don't. I mean, you play into explosive either, like either way, right? So let's just do it with this, and you can clear this maybe. Okay, so that happens. Then we probably just pass. Then you can explosive next turn. I can't play anything with overload here, right? Like if we had zap, we'd have like the nuts and probably just like instantly win. But I don't. I have mutate, and mutating is not really worth it here. So we do that, and our flesh shaper still gets explosive. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I might have to mutate before I evolve just to test for counter. We'll see though. I'm late. I'm late. So he has two counter spells, I think. He didn't play his free secrets, so it's kind of suspect, I'd say. Kind of really fucking suspect. Uh, let's start with Bolt. I think mutate's a little bit better. Let's so use Bolt here, see what happens. Oh no, it's a counter spell. Who would have guessed that was the outcome? So we play the burst, it's one mana. Actually, sorry, it's a zero. We play this now. Uh, let's see how we trade. Probably like, if we lava burst, then we can't play evolve. So we probably want to crackle. It's two. Ah, uh, shit, my bad. I could have traded off and got more minions. Sorry. I'm not used to playing with this because I've honestly never really touched a card. Not really uh, an excuse for the brain light, but stuff. So that should go face. We should trade and trade. So I basically just lost two food drops. Uh, we'll say that I just played around Doomsayer, right? I played around Doomsayer, even though I have a Mutate to evolve in my hands. But uh, we played around the Doomsayer perfectly. Genius plays. It's kind of a bad 5-drop. I should still hold the Mutate, though, and we should be good to win now. What is this new schedule? This is AM control. This is the I wake up early in the morning control and stream from morning to afternoon. That is this control. The morning. Hmm. The AM control. Boom. I didn't play early enough to get ETC. Did any of you guys? It's like one of the only cards that I don't have. I got uh, I got Gelblin Mechatork, I think the card is called. The 6-mana six 6-6. Six, six. But I didn't play early enough for ETC. I missed that. I'm the game of the wild character. I'm pretty sure it's a card now. Yeah, I like this one. It's got it for free, basically. It's kind of cool. It's like one of the cards that I would play when I would play like friendly auto build games against my friends when I started. Uh, so Cloud Prince, it's fine. Should probably start with this, get explosive, then cry about how strong it is. Uh, deal two, trade there. I go face, it's explosive. Do we really care if it's like uh, flame more though? We take three, we still have a seven four, seven four dies, we have a bunch of one ones. Bunch of one ones kind of suck. So I would mutate that after then, I guess, if that's the case. Okay. So we do that. We attack face with a 4 3. Or it gets white. We go face for 7. Get a 3 2. We do that. We do this. We hear power and then we mutate. Just because second flame would fuck us up. Ooh! Oh, uh, it's actually kind of bad. I don't kill him now. Fuck. I kill everything he plays, but I don't kill him. So, yeah. Hey, Liquid, how you doing? Welcome. Give it a good day. Could be second flame ward. Now, zap. Not the best card in the world. Let's see, second flame ward. Um, the Yeti is honestly not terrible though, because it does mean that he's not gonna play minions and Esco over the top for a little bit. It's not like a fireball ping is that hard to do, but it's a whole turn at least. Okay, it's gonna be the fireball ping, then redevelop. 
Which means we're now behind. Flame Ward's kind of a good card. Yeah. Kind of a good fucking card. So you're at a 5-5. Five, five. I have a burst though. Um, should I use my burst there? I don't have enough burn to just win over the top, so we should probably be clearing. Yeah, that's fine. I can wait a turn with the taunt, so I don't think it's fine. Just, you know, save a mana. Best draw on the deck, like Spirit of the Frog, probably, to uh, cycle into an Evolve and like an Unstable Evo. Unstable Evo is a really good draw here, too, because it makes any card. They have a small bait. He's played a counter spell already. I probably want to wait until next turn for this, because I only get a 7, or I get an 8 drop, I guess, if it works. If it's counter spell, it's also really bad for us, though. So I feel like I just take it slow. I can wait a turn. Also, if you get a rush card with it, then this is better if you wait as well. So I kind of like holding here. Science man, okay. Doing that, King's face. So I probably want to zap the 2-2, two because -two, there's no chance that we don't get... Oh, but this is always going to be runes, uh, dude. Uh, this is literally always going to be runes, so if I play this and I just cry... How often do we get a minion next turn? These two aren't really playable, though. So, I mean, yeah, it's sad, right? It's sad, but that's life. So we start with Zap to trigger the counter spell. We'll do this counter spell. Crazy. Evolve that sort of. It's kind of good. Get a bunch of totems. I like the fun outcomes from Evolve like this, where you just get to do shit like this. Because now we just have, like, a bunch of totems. They're not, like, that great, but they do stuff. Totem's really good. 5-4 is good. 3-4 is like honestly good in this matchup too. Um, 3-6, it's another taunt. Do I want my big card to be taunted though? I think I just make an 8 drop here. I don't think that I pick any taunts. 5-5 five, five is something good. I think it'd be good 8. Zimby's fine. That's really good. Okay. Cool. Which shock drop then? Just to see me lose. Dude, I'm 0-3 today, man. Don't don't hope that I lose. Come on. We're, uh, we're trying to get Legend today. Which should be fine if I just, like, stop shit in the bed. Which I've kind of been doing, not gonna lie. Been doing a little bit of, uh, some Pepega stuff today. So, that's a lot of damage, right? He doesn't have counter spells. That is basically just lethal every time. Okay. Okay, block. That's fine. Boom. Block, 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 block. Okay, healing totem, so healing totem triggers that. He trades, he trades, he has to trade there. I don't have any face damage right now. And I have no cards in my deck to go face, because I've used them all. So we should totem up for healing again. Or another taunt, I guess. Oh, sorry. Because uh, you have the basic totems, you're always going to get steering there. That's my bad. But uh, still, it's fine. He has to have a card like Torch or Fireball or Prince. He doesn't have a third Prince, so second Fireball or either Torch, two cards or three, four. And then... Or the A2 as well. Valley works too. He pings, he clears, okay. So we want to draw... I mean, that actually doesn't even matter, right? No, actually we do... It does matter, because we do get Devolve, right? Is Devolve better than... Yeah, Devolve is better than a 3-3, three, three, I think. Or a 2-3. So we play this first to trigger the runes. We play the frog, we play burst, we get a Devolve every time. Uh, we trade one of the 1-1s one here. It could be... Actually, it's pretty likely to be dupe, right? Oh, wait, it actually isn't even Devolve. Okay. Or sorry, it's not even um, runes, it's just dupe. So we probably let him dupe the 1-1, one, one, then we just trade, trade, no devolve, maybe? Trade here, give him two 1-1s, one, he gets that dupe, we trade the 4-1, and then we totem. And then we would want to devolve next turn, I guess. Cool. Maybe we keep Paladin, because, yeah, devolve or a bust against a lot of decks is how that works right now, I think. I, I feel like devolve is just, like, the reason why Shaman is a good class right now. Almost exclusively. Uh, the reason that they can answer so many different things is just so strong. That uh, it's something that most classes just don't have the opportunity to do a lot of time. So that's always runes. Um, Devolve here isn't very good. doesn't draw us anything. And I do have Evolves in my deck still, and he has no more counter spells. So I should be toteming and passing here. I want to wait for like a bigger outcome here for the uh, Devolve, I think. Maybe he does just get 0-2s though. But keeping this alive doesn't really matter unless I get like a Mutator or Zap. It's only 2 to 13. I mean, like, sure, right? Sure, let's just see what happens. 0-2s are good for us. 2-1-1s. I can play this, and that's actually kind of good here. 
It gets explosive, which gives him one more draw that he can play with, but that's okay. We take the five, we develop one ones. We have one 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 left. I technically do lose a four drop if we do draw a ball though, but that's okay. Because he would just ping their trade train. Yeah, Archaeologist is good, so that's another. <sighs> that's a situation that sucks. Fuck. <laughs> it's fine though, no big deal. Uh, mutate, so we're rewarded actually, which is nice. We mutate here. We got Unstable Evo, which is really strong, and we should be Unstable Evoing. For nothing really, but, uh, for some. Five drop is good. Thank you, I know I'm amazing. So some eight drops here, Lion Cracker. Uh, Lion Cracker is pretty good, I think we just like look for something else now. I don't think we really want Taunt Totem, our Life Total's fine. I, can, I should actually be evolving the frog, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm uh, making a two drops really bad compared to making like another eight. That's pretty good to know where spells he wants. And Godfrey and that's not good, so we evolve that down. Ooh, much muncher. Give me some more zero twos. Double dupe, baby, okay. So you can't devolve Anoyatrons, or sorry, target dummies, because there's zero cost cards. But you can double Linecracker's attack and kill him. Good stuff. I say it a lot, but that's like my favorite part about playing Evolve Shaman is that uh, you get to play with all the different cards you usually wouldn't play with. It's kind of similar to the reason that like I like playing Odd Rogue sometimes because of Swashburglar. Not something I want to do every day, but uh, once in a while I think it's pretty cool. Because, I mean, you just don't play with these cards otherwise, right? Like, you never see Mulch Muncher, you never see Lion Cracker outside of the Druid deck where you just win one turn with it. Uh, if it's always explosive, but it's not, we win this turn, so we should probably do this stall. Truly really explosive, cool. Uh, we take some damage. I don't think we're ever dead, maybe I should have thought about that, right? Let's see if one card, five, seven. No, Fireball doesn't do it. So we trade, we trade. And that should be game. I think that was like a game where both decks, I would say, high rolled pretty hard early, right? Like, uh, he had both the Flame Wards to counter my early Evolves. And then my Evolves also fizzed a little bit. Amazing. Which should definitely happen. You shouldn't always get the best Evolves in the world, but, uh... It was the case that, uh, we had, like, a pretty good start, and then... He had a pretty good answer. Yeah, overall, I would say, like, uh, I don't see it too often, but a good game against Secret Mage. Maybe I just haven't played in a while, that's why I feel like it's good, because it's, like, fresh right now, but... That felt like a good game against Secret Mage. Okay, but he's mad though. Rank 1, 5 stars right now, sitting here trying to get a legend, losing a Shaman, man. This guy's probably trying to escape standard. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I was like not really wanting to play Shaman, is because all the standard people might want to watch some wild, or play some wild, because... Well, this is literally standard in a nutshell right now, but uh, nobody plays this shit in wild, so we're doing it a little bit different right now. That's just how it goes. Homie is mad. Boom, line crack into the dome. And hey, that works with the overcall table. Plus 10 attack. Thanos. Yes, Thanos. I must protect the one. You're correct. Thanos. Big Thanos. Uh, so we're gonna Druid. Druids usually play very slow decks that should do really well into us, actually. Um, uh, Devolve is not the best card in the world because you just Devolve Vargoth. I mean, you Devolve the Plague later, but we draw that later with the Frog anyways, so we just do that. Keep this. Not that we even have cards to curve into with it that make it even stronger, but it's just a one-drop. Best comp in TFT? Um, just play, like... I think right now just play Imperials. Should be fine. I haven't played TFT, like, seriously in probably, like, a month. I got like three of my accounts back in Masters and like I climbed I think only to like 100 or 200 LP on one of them and the rest I just got to Masters but then um, I didn't like the next patch so I just stopped playing. But I got back into it for like a week and then got from like a couple accounts from like low plat to Masters and then my main account from like D1 to Masters but I since decayed. Again. Uh, I'll probably play when set 2 comes out. I don't know if I care enough to get the rank border uh, to try for that but I might. We'll see. Put into a phase. It's gonna be here coin evolve next turn almost every time. Which is nice. Uh oh, okay, found those, not found those. Okay. Um I don't really think found is that good, to be honest with you. It's like an okay card. I don't think he's insane though. So I should do this and then just like trade here. And then maybe I just like trade like this and then so it's not as good. So make a phase. 
I was gonna go for the hair every time that turn, but since we got the frog, just going with the frog, right? It makes way more sense. So this is probably a get poison seeds board as well, which is okay. Like I'm fine with that. No real issues there. Uh, so we can we don't have anything with overload, right? I can start with coin. Coin is fine. Unstable emo, okay. Uh, it's not really what we want here. I think Thunderhead's better next turn anyway, so we go Desert here. We go Evolve. So we draw a Devolve. Okay. Uh, that's two mana, that's interesting. Summoning Portal's kind of cool. Those are actually some really interesting outcomes, wow. Uh, unfortunately I don't have one more mana though, because otherwise we could play that, but that's okay. Just pass. Not the worst, not the best cards ever. This plays around the seeds really well though. Really, really well against the Poison Seeds card. Is definitely bad here. Um, I would say it's kind of just like an awkward draw. You're playing like a fast deck, right? So you want your cards to be stronger in general. I played like a slower version of the deck that's not more aggressive in nature. And in that version, I definitely did play the Death Knight. And I thought he was alright then. But uh, I'm just trying this one out because I think Corbat got top 10 with it or something. And I like Agro Shaman. And this is just like an Agro Shaman variant. That's all. It just looked cool. So we'd want to start with this and just see what happens. Because we sometimes just get Corridor Creeper. Uh, do I ever play like a Thunderhead before I do that, though? To make it slightly more likely? Would I even want to... I mean, I would just rather do this, I think. Just go from there. That's all. Thunderhead, that's fine. Uh, so just trade again. Go face. Play Thunderhead. That's fine. I don't want to commit too much more into uh, his Plague Turn. He probably just goes Death Knight, though. I, I also feel like this matchup's kind of weird because Seeds just kind of fucks you, but it might just be the case that, like, playing around Seeds is what's going to, like, eventually make you lose a lot of time, so I might have to right. He doesn't gain armor, so the Spellstone there doesn't work. It's a one-mana card, though, so it is probably Spellstone, maybe there. That would make sense. It's a program I used to show my deck. Yeah, just Hearthstone deck track around. Really useful. I definitely recommend uh, using it if you don't already. We have the Devolve, which is really good here. We have Mogu as well. So Mogu. We play Mogu, then we play Devolve. Trade the ones with... I mean, does it even really matter? I'm probably trading that. I mean, I'm probably evolving that, actually. I'm probably not trading it off. So I can do this, and then just, like, evolve three times. Katrina, okay. Oh, uh, that's not very good. But is that better than a five? I mean, like, the increase here is a stronger thing most of the time. Okay, that wasn't very good. Um, I would probably rather do that, just to protect my big cards, but... This is awkward. Mutate is good, because the frog will make it strong, but this is just, like, not the best outcome for us ever. So he needs seeds now, or he's drawing first and playing seeds, some of them say. More likely that he needs it. It's not like it's even like that insane for him, but he's just dying otherwise. Because this definitely wasn't the best outcome for me ever, right? It really wasn't that great. Ah, uh, that's really good for him though. Like really, really good. Fuck. Okay, I think that's fine. Oh, that's still good. Though. Good Vargoth. Okay. We draw a burst, which is pretty strong. I don't have room for burst to work though. You need four slots. I don't have enough. So I could trade there and play it. I only get two right now, right, with this, because I don't get the uh, the passive to go off. I'd like to mutate this, even though he did draw three. If he drew seeds, I think he would have played seeds first. Maybe I don't even play that. Is it ever just like trade, trade, evolve here? Base for time? That might just be the move. Thunderstruck. Oh, sure, that's good. I'm not gonna totem. I don't find uh, that much value in a single totem here. It's just like another plague token for him, basically, that's all. And plague right now for us isn't very good, it's super annoying. So far I'm finding this deck really fun to play though, like it's definitely one with a lot of depth, I will say that. It doesn't really seem like it has that much depth either, is the weird part about it. So he does that, he plays seeds. Uh, I would get quarter people from that, unless he plays it first. Naturalize, okay. Um, I don't know if that's really the move for him. I know I have a full board, but is that really the play? So a quarter reaper dies. I mean, that was good in that sense, right? We got a bunch of 2-2s. Two -two, so we have a devolve now as well. I could crackle into lava burst. I don't think we have lethal in most cases. So we could totem first maybe, and we could spell power, then we do it. 
I don't have mana then. If we roll a six, we're still one off. No, we win. If we roll six, we win. I could also just wait until next turn to cycle more cards though. If I play it, he wouldn't like seeds again, right? I don't think he would seeds again. He might plague though, and I can't trade a totem off if I totem. I wonder. Which is awkward. Very awkward. I could also get Spirit Echo instead of Crackle. I literally just cut uh, a Lightning Bolt for Spirit Echo because I want to try that. Now it's really awkward because I'd almost just win if I had double burst here. I think that I still probably just go for it though. Let's see if we get the burst. Two to six. Four. Okay, not quite. Uh, so not lethal, so we don't want to hold them. We just want to go face and pass. So we're two off. We could draw another Crackle with the Voltaic next turn. He's not going to Seeds again. And then we could Crackle plus Burst and win. Uh, we do... Actually, I probably should have just played it because we get Crackle every time, right? And if this dies, then we don't get Crackle every time. Huh. Play this fine, though. What's the Spirit Echo for? Uh, I just wanted to try it for, like, value. Because you run out of gas a lot. But it's not really, like, the type of deck where you do need that kind of stuff. I just, like, was looking at the collection and what I wanted to run for a 3-cost spell. Because I think Lava Burst is good, but it's not always that great. And I wanted to try something a little bit more fun, I guess. Was the kind of reasoning. Don't in our don't evolve. Evolve GT. Uh, but that's basically it. I just thought the card was kind of interesting and sometimes good after you evolve boards. So you can just like jam a bunch of big stuff. Uh, even in your fast matchups, I find that the card's probably not terrible, but probably not as good as Burst is a thing. Yeah. So no, not anymore. Hello, Rachel. How are you? For Doomhammer, for the Hi, Sippy. Uh, Flesh Shaper, Unseeable Evo here against the Shaman. So Shamans will usually do the same thing as us, so the Unseeable Evo is playable pretty early. It's not like the best card in the world, though. It does like guarantee that Flesh Shaper goes off, and if he plays a lot of cards, then it's usually really cheap. This is kind of just like a free Flesh Shaper on turn 4. Probably just toss the Zap and do yeah. that. It's not even like that good, it just discounts this, and this is what our hand plays for, so we just play for our hands. Yeah. Should be fine. Could also be a slow shaman, and that doesn't work as well. Even okay. So we definitely gotta do our stuff. Nice. Uh, good game, dude. Good game. I, I had, like, a really nutty hand. So maybe there's really too much you can do. But, uh, good game, dude. Good game. There's that in here. I think throwing here is pretty fair, to be honest. It's a little bit optimistic, it just gets a lot better if you have, like, an evolve. But, uh, definitely not the best card in the world to have in your hand there, for sure. Oh, I don't really see a reason to play this here. It's just, like, a free token for this later. He two drop your powers. Wow, he didn't. Oh no. Crazy. Ugh. Spear pass. Boom. And then next turn, pop off. Here's good with your with flesh shaper. Um, definitely. Yeah, I mean like here or the voltaic burst are really good with flesh shaper for sure, just to like guarantee it at zero, right? The thing is, it's not that good with unstable evo, right? Because like if I'm keeping the flesh shaper, I want to keep the evolved card for sure, but it's just not um, the best one in the world to have there. So we start with coin, just see what happens. Then the evolve, hopefully. No evolve and unstable evo. Okay. Um, so I don't really have to hear here. There is okay, but I don't think I really want to do it. I'd rather, like, play my other cards and cycle a little bit. So I do this. I definitely play this. Did a devolve. Could crackle into a spirit echo, and then just unstable evo once or twice. Seems fine. Seems dead. Get a lava burst. Cool. Uh, trade the 1-1. One -one. Trade the evil totem. Start with this now, though. Let's do that one time. We get Katrina, which will then pull a quarter creeper. And we have an unstable Evo, so that's fine. We trade, we trade. And we probably take a two drop, keep us alive. Should be fine. Get another devolve. Lance carry, your broken card, wow. Did I use. Oh, dude, come on, man. Maybe a little bit more thinking, a little bit less talking, boys. A little bit more thinking, a little bit less talking. Uh, playing hard mode and hard mode today. That's all. Let's play on hard mode. Uh, I need a little bit of a challenge. Coming back, I feel like ladder is a little bit simple. And when I draw Spirit of the Frog and all those good cards, you know, I don't want the game just handed to me. So we're going to make it a little bit tough. He's not overloaded, though. He has no one mana card that can overload him. Or does he? Zap. Okay, if you, wait. Zero. Okay, that's, a, that's fine. 
Don't get a tell set up. Fuck me. Okay. We're fine. No big deal. Uh, Thunderhead is good. I do want to devolve here, though, I think. I could, like, Crackle Trade as well. Devolve's much better against a small stuff, though. This just removes totems, and removing totems is good. I also have two versus one. So I should do this. His 3-drop might get away unscathed. I could also do this first, I guess. He trades into a lot, though, and I'm not even sure, like, I know what I want. Avalanche, Crackle, Murlox. Murlox is pretty good most of the time. Maybe it's to transform to. But uh, I think it's the Crackle. It's removal. And I get punished this gets a 5-1. Nice. Cool! Wow, we're getting punished for all of our bad plays today. That's great. Nice. Hi, Legend, here we come. Hey, man, if there's one thing I know about Wild, it's that you don't need to play perfectly to get High Legend. I'll tell you that. We get an Evolve. Uh, I can't Overload with my Thunderhead, but I should probably still play. Maybe, I mean... So this stays alive. I go Thunderhead, Crackle, the 4-6. We clear the 4-6. Next turn, we can go Double Hair Evolve. Yeah, double hair evolve seems pretty fucking good. Let's do the Thunderhead stuff here. Okay, so two damage goes on. Boom, one, one. And we're good to go. So base for one. This card is the nuts, dude. Holy shit. You missed my streams. Well, it's nice that I am back. Happy to be back as well. Thunderhead and then he... Doesn't clear my card. Plays the same cards as us, man. What's up with this guy? So I can trade off all of the 1-1s one into the 3-6 and the 2-5. Boom. We do that. So we go boom. 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 Play a desert here. Probably just trade that for fun and then play the evolve. Nice. Cool. Uh, yeah, not the best 8-drop. An okay 5, a pretty good 5-drop, actually. Pretty bad 4-drop, pretty bad 4-drop. Uh, and the best 4-drop in the game. 4 mana 2020. Can you guys even fathom beating that? I cannot. I cannot. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna scale our Mogu Flesh Eater here with the Akali the Rhino. We get some crazy Spirit Echo value now, which is pretty good. Uh, I could also just probably kill him, right? 8 plus, should have 5, 10, 16, 16 plus 21, 27 sometimes. So we get Crackle Face first. We did 4, I think we have 21 now, right? So we're 1 off. I go for Spell Hearts at him, see if we get there. And we don't. Uh, so let's, oh! I get a Mogu Flesh Shaper that's really, really big if I do this. So we trade here, and then I trade here. That's gonna be giant, right? That's huge. 8 9. Let's do that, and then play Spirit Echo. Get insane value. Uh, trade, and then face face probably. Damn, that's nutty, dude. That's what I'm talking about with like, the cool random outcomes. Paladin. Uh, mutate burst. I think I would prefer to have minions or devolve. I don't think I know. Uh, Mogu. Mogu unstable? Okay, that's fine. He's on coin though. So he's playing mech. Good start for us. Uh, goblin's fine. Thinking of Hearthstone? I mean, I'm definitely not doing a good fucking job at it, I'll tell you that, dude. Not right now. All minions? Okay, good to know. I play Rush Lackey to play Rush Lackey, so I have a minion that does stuff. We go face. Boom. Cool. Okay. He usually plays one card here. Maybe like the... Okay, Christology card. Then he coins the two mana. 1-1 one, one buff card. And buffs his cards. It's two mana 2-2. Two, two, scary. Our Mogu's four mana. So we probably use Totem. We zap that, I think, usually. Maybe we don't even zap it. We'll see what the Totem is. Okay. So he plays cards next turn. How do I feel about him playing cards? Does him playing cards mean that we devolve, or does it mean that we thunder add? He may value trade. If he value trades, are we happy? I mean, making him make decisions is probably fine. I don't think I want to use my cards here. I think I want to hold. 
Zap is a lot better with Thunderhead, and I don't want to be overloaded next turn, is the logic. Galvanizer, okay. Shield man card, each creates there, okay. So I can trade the 1-1 one, one into his 4-4, four, four, zap it, all my 1-1s one, there. Then he plays the strap on card, kills me 3-6. How do we feel about that? Not very good. So maybe we want to do Thunderhead next turn and go into the Mogu this turn. How does that sound? Um, if I actually just zap her, then I get two cards and my Mogu is zero mana, right? But, and then I can mutate, so I should probably just do it that way. Um, I have to do it exactly like this, where I zap the 4-4 four, four, though. Shall Otherwise it doesn't... Destroy. So we zap the 4-4, four, four, we play the Mogu. We value trade there, and we mutate. So Rot Face is dead. Uh, if he plays, he's bought, he's handled twice, right? So it'd be a 7-7. Seven, seven. So it'd be an 11-11, eleven, eleven, treating that. I mean, it's never going to survive, so it doesn't matter. Treating there doesn't matter either. We pass. We devolve next turn. Uh, we should be fine here. I feel okay. Not bad. Rot Face is cool. Okay, he plays top man card. He trades. Smart guy for not overcommitting it to the Devolve. I like it. Uh, it's pretty unfortunate we have two of them now. So you probably want to play one Devolve here. There was a 6-6, six, six, so he's nothing on board to attack with right away. Uh, value trade there, totem. Spark or the 1-1. One, one. Goodbye 1-1. One, one. Spark space. Elementals sometimes do stuff. So we're probably going to play this six times next turn or Devolve some big stuff. Uh, I think this game's kind of like a write-off, right? Like, we've had double uh, double devolve in this matchup, like top 10, so, or top 8 even, so... It's kind of hard to say that, like, we really outplay them or anything. We kind of just, like, drew good cards. Which is definitely something that happens in this video game sometimes, and it's not even like we always win, because we haven't always won yet, but... We're in a pretty good fucking spot. Not that this is even that good, and I probably... I probably actually have to devolve that again, just because, like, I really don't have fuck all to do with this hand, actually. Uh, so maybe even with this hand, we're not in the best spot ever, and we don't always win. Even, like, a 4-drop does pretty well into, like, the 5 damage I have most of the time. Because this is just, like, an awkward hand. Maybe we totem first and just see what he gets, because he can only attack one time. So if we get, like, a taunt totem, then we're probably okay. Okay, it's not taunt. He only has one hand buff minion. I think we should still do this. A 3-2? Okay, so we just value trade go face. I don't really want to mutate this, because this card could still be really good. Save one to Apprentice or Radiant? Yeah, you're right. I got that one time with an Evolve deck that I played a little while ago, which is good. But, uh, it's definitely not something that happens that often. Okay. So, Jeeves and Hero Power. Oh, that's kind of good for us, actually. We might just let him, like, do that, because we have a lot of good outcomes from that. Why does that cost 7 mana? Um, I would rather probably have, like, a bigger card. 315 is something good. And Rob Cole, it's fine. And you die. Sure, five bucks good. So let's drop on, kill my five drop next turn, we'll draw three. Oh fuck, you don't draw because of oh okay. Because of the echo. I mean like, is that really that bad though? We still get two. This deck has a lot of synergy, but so does ours. It's kind of just an interesting decision, because I feel like you can't play three cards a turn. Like I don't think Jeeves is really that good for him here. I feel like for me, I gotta play a lot more of my cards more often and draw more than him. Because usually you just want to, like, get rid of the Jeeves, but I feel like here it's just better for me not to. Uh, in this case I will now, I think. Just because we're so far ahead on board, he only has four cards and none of them are buffed. This card is so good with Thunderhead, too. It's actually just insane. Like, what the fuck? This is so much. Go Slurper. Uh, we can evolve again if we want. I'd rather just totem, see what we got. Taunt. I probably still do that, just so my cards don't die. Perfectly fine with that. Big board, got a lot of damage. We're not losing from here, we should just be good. So, I thought this game had played better, but the thing is, like, our hand was so good that, like, playing this game better... ...doesn't even really mean that much to me, at least. 
So we'll have to probably try and use her brain next game. Because this game, like, while it's cool to think and do all that kind of stuff... Let me draw a 10 then. Uh, it's not, like, super, super relevant just because... Well, we kind of had the nuts, right? Like, we just drew really well, and we weren't losing this game uh, very often anyways. I don't think it really matters how you play if you just draw double devolve against Mech Paladin, you're usually just gonna get there. That's basically it for me, at least. But, um... No brain lag, which is good. I need more, like, coffee or something, I don't know. Suck some Ogway down. But, uh, definitely a game that I played a little bit better, for sure. Compared to the, uh... Suspect ones a little bit earlier. To the concede to mage, because what is the secret? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. These guys are mad about not winning, dude. This is the second guy today that did that. Where these rope it out. Which is fine, don't get me wrong, I get it. Winning's uh a lot more fun than losing, but 